Hello friends, Running Kimono here. So we're going to talk about Black Friday over at Bath and Body Works and they have changed things up. So a couple things to share with you guys, uh, the information that I do have. And in case you missed it last week, I posted a really cool video about Candle Day uh, 2020 that will be celebrated uh, the first week of um, December. There's a lot of information in this video. Um, we're talking about speculation on price points, a good game plan, and just basically how to get organized. This video will be linked at the very end if you would like to check it out. Just a lot of great information, especially if you love those big three wick candles. I mean, this is really our day. It's actually going to be three days, but it'll be our weekend for that. So um, a couple weeks back, Bath and Body Works, um, they put this message out that said, hey, this is what we're going to do for Black Friday 2020. It's going to be a week long. So Black Friday 2020 will start on the 23rd um, right to the 25th in store only. And then on the 26th, which is a Thursday, it will be online. And then on Friday, it will both be in store and online. So hopefully you aren't uh, too confused about that. Um, but they're just kind of changing things up and they're really trying to to keep their employees safe. So they're following with like a lot of other um, stores where on that Thursday, um, which is Thanksgiving, they will be closed. So that's why you can shop online that specific date. Okay, guys, so they're doing a combination of both online and in-store. Um, so it went from being like a three day weekend sort of a sale to a long week. Um, and they're really going to limit the people that walk into the store. You have to hand sanitize, socially distance. There might be long lines. Um, if you can possibly do a drive by of your local store to see how many people are standing out, especially if it's kind of a colder day, that might be the way to gauge if you want to go in or not. Um, if you shop first thing in the morning, sometimes they will open up an hour early um, to accommodate shoppers in store for the sales. And um, yeah, online and online might be the way to go, especially if your store gets really like filled with people. So on the 25th, um, so the day before Thanksgiving, if you want to add a bunch of stuff to your cart around midnight, and then when it hits 26th, when the online sales start, all the promotions at that time will start popping up. Will they offer us free shipping? Will they offer us, you know, a bigger discount if you buy so much stuff? Will there be a free item? Will they possibly launch new merch or new scents um, during that time? So we're going to have to wait and see. But um, what I would do is if there's something that's just like, you really have to get it, toss it in a basket on the 25th around midnight ish and then 26 see what the prices are and if it's a great price by all means buy it and often th the best piece of advice I can give you guys to get your order out to you right away is there's a whole bunch of tiers of shipping do not go for the cheapest one go for the one that's a little bit more expensive for like six bucks or whatever it is 6.99 and um Usually they will fulfill your order really quick, especially if there is um, a unique scent that they're only releasing specifically for this sale or some, you know, special item that you absolutely need to get. Um, if you spring for that faster shipping, your order will get um, fulfilled much quicker and sent out to you. That's been my experience for the last many, many years. Now let's talk about coupons. Um, so if you might get these home mailers, definitely hang on to them um, because they will be worth their weight in gold for this um, Black Friday week. And often with the Black Friday sale, like they did last year, they often have like their greatest hits. So if these three week candles are on a buy one, get one free, or if they have buy three body care items, get three for free, they'll try and bring a lot of those to the table to really entice shoppers. But the biggest and deepest safety that you will get is if you have these coupons. Um, for whatever mysterious reason, since March, the mailer coupons haven't been around, which is kind of like, oh, I really wish they would do that. So it's these home mailers, or if you use the app, um, possibly check those two avenues if you might have some coupons. Okay, guys, so can't stress it enough. If you might have some of these, um, you know, snail mail coupons that arrive, you might want to hang on to them um, to use in concert with this sale. And maybe there might be some email coupons or if your city has the app, maybe you won't get these home mailers. So, um, you know, there's one of a couple of ways to get coupons, but try to make something happen so you can get in on some of these deals. Now, I have been shopping at Bath and Body Works probably for 15 plus years. Like, I love that store. Look at this photo of this display 
display. If you look where that arrow is, there's coupons in the store that uh, employees have put aside. Uh, so sometimes if you ask super nice or if you look at the front on a display, they have a little cup with coupons. And if you're super, super nice and <laughs> even a couple of times, guys, because I'm, I'm a little bit disorganized, um, I'll go into the store and say, I have a 10 off of 30. I forgot it at home. Could you possibly lend me one and I'll bring back that coupon? And they always make some sort of accommodation, especially if you are like a regular shopper at your store, um, just be super nice and say, hey, I didn't get one of those. Could you help me out? And they might have something for you or a cup with a whole bunch of magical coupons. So you have a couple of weeks to get super organized. So you can call the 1-800 number. You can physically go into the store to say, hey, could I get on that coupon list? Provide your email, your first and last name, your home address. And then usually coupons start arriving at your home. And then I think in like 13 states, um, the Bath and Body Works app only works in certain states. I think it's like 13 or 14. And uh, you basically download it and then there's digital coupons on the app and there's a lot of magic to this app. You even get freebies if you buy a bunch of stuff. I would love to have this app working in Northern Michigan, but that's not the case as of today. Um, but one of many ways, guys, try and get these coupons to work so you can get a lot of this Black Friday stuff on the cheap. So this is a couponing channel. So we're all about saving money. And one of the fastest ways to get gift cards towards your Bath and Body Works purchase, well, it's the Fetch Rewards app. I would use the Fetch Rewards app, photograph your receipts to earn points. And when you hit the $25 mark or 27, you can get a Visa gift card and use that towards your Bath and Body Works purchase. It's a really easy process. You just go to the link in the notes, use my referral code, photograph a bunch of receipts and your receipts will give you points, points towards gift cards. And as you can see, when you get $27 in points or, or 27,000, um, you can get a $25 gift card that you can use for this. So, I mean, sign up today. My code's there, right there on the screen. And when you photograph your first receipt, you're given two bucks. So if you have a bunch of receipts, you might get really close to that gift card. <laughs> And um, if you want to use that uh, Visa gift card and go to bathandbodyworks.com, buy yourself a $25 e-gift card. Very easy to do. You could probably even do it in store. And um, you can just scan that because I know that sometimes uh, to ask a cashier to type in your Visa card, uh, to punch it in manually, sometimes they struggle with that or with new hires if they're not sure how the cash register works. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, it might be easier just to go on the Bath and Body Works site and to get a virtual or a physical um, gift card mailed to your home. And you can do that no sweat with that Visa gift card from Fetch. So I really know that sometimes when they have a really big sale at Bath and Body Works, it can be utterly overwhelming. They have a big surplus of stuff and it's just like sometimes, you know, it's just, it's overwhelming. So I would really recommend to make a list of the merchandise that you're kind of looking for um, a couple days before, maybe go to the store, scope it out, see what they might have. Um, and online, um, put stuff into your basket and then just see the next day if, uh, you know, if it's the, if the price is right for you. And the more organized that you are with this sort of stuff, uh, the better it is and the more like fun it is. And sometimes the comfort of your home online is definitely the way to go. Um, but it's really your choice. Uh, but to absolutely go in there with a bit of intention of what you want to buy, just so you're not buying everything and anything, because then it would be really expensive. And Bath and Body Works has one of the most flexible return uh, policies. So if you buy something and you open it up at home and that smell is just really not what you anticipated, or it smells like men's cologne, that's happened to me a couple times, they allow returns. They're very generous with their return policy. So even if you buy something you're not too fancy, about. Remember, you can always bring it back to the store and they will give you a full refund or exchange for something, which is probably the best way to go. Really prepare yourself for some really big savings. They have been pulling out all the stops since about the fall to get people into the store and shop. And I think Black Friday, they're going to step it up. Looking on their website, you know, just some of the usual suspects of winter candy apple, um, twisted peppermint and the vanilla bean Noel. Uh, this is also super cute. They have these different um, candle holders, the snow globe one that goes around like a winter storm and it's supposed to be spectacular. Look at that gorgeous little bear with the crown. You could put a three wick candle on top. I mean, that's just stunning. Um, you know, if you can get these on a super sale, uh, that's definitely the way to go. This ornament, it's no longer sold online, but you could possibly find it in store for $19.99. I know a lot of people were humming and hawing. They were like, this is just way too expensive. 20% off coupon and maybe it'll be part of some sort of promotion, but 
definitely a keepsake. And I love the fact that they're doing an ornament for the tree, especially if you're a collector of all things Bath and Body Works. This is definitely one to buy for $19.99. And then another thing that's really uh, kind of captured my imagination is whenever they have, these are no longer online either. I couldn't find one today. They sometimes have like um, a Christmas village. They'll have like a house this will have to be an in-store find only just like that Christmas ornament, but this usually retails for like just under 60 or like under a hundred dollars. So if you really love the Christmas village, that sort of stuff, and you want to get one, you know, with the Bath and Body Works motif that you could put a candle inside of, you might want to keep your eye out for this. I have, I've seen one in store before, but I never bought it because I don't really decorate like that for, um, for Christmas, but um, if this is sort of your thing, you know, you might want to keep an eye out in store. Sadly, online, I could not find one this morning. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.